Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing another method to rip those vocals, isolate those vocals or just downright steal those vocals. This time we're going to do it with Edison that comes with FL, so if that kind of thing interests you then watch on. Okay, so here we are in FL. Now this is exactly the same project, exactly the same sample that we are gonna be using for our vocal extraction. The only difference between this video and last video is that I'll be using a completely different method, different, different plugin essentially to remove or isolate that vocal. Before I was using Audacity, this time I'll be using Edison. So without any further ado, let's remind ourselves what it exactly is we are going to be isolating. So have a listen to this. What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love, and no other love can be defined until that love has properly been understood. Think of what it is when God himself puts his arms around you and says, welcome home. Okay, so that's the sample. Now I'm gonna explain how we rub it. First thing I want you to do is open up the sample in FL, right click the waveform and you wanna to go to, where is it? Edit in audio editor. What this will do, this will open up an instance of Edison on your master channel. Here it is. And what we basically wanna tell Edison is we wanna give it a profile of noise to reduce okay now the key difference between edison and audacity that i used in my last video was audacity has a setting specifically for vibe vocal isolation now edison to my knowledge doesn't have that but what it does have is the ability to reduce noise if you give it a, the profile of that noise now the great thing about this sample is you've got a perfect example of the sample where there's just the, the noise that you want to remove on its own and we can use that to basically tell Edison, okay, this is the sound we want to remove. We want to keep everything else. Now that should remove the background noise and give us a clean sample. So let's give it a go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is select your noise profile, which is going to be around about here. If we quickly press play on this. Now that's kind of the loudest, the most obvious part of that sound. If you take it back earlier, you can't really hear it as much. So we definitely want to use the loudest bit here as our noise profile. So let me just select all of this. Then I'm going to right click, go to tools, go to uh, acquire noise profile. Then I'm going to, once that's done, I'm going to control A to select all of it. And then I'm going to right click again, go back to tools. But this time I'm going to cl click the clean up denoise option what we're going to do here make sure the output noise only is unchecked what this is basically going to give us is some options on you know the threshold that we want to set the amount of reduction we want um, but let's just go with the standard settings see how that sounds first of all so i'm just going to click accept it's going to load and then bang wow that's a lot of reduction and not a lot in the uh, in the vocal but sometimes when you do these um remove these sounds they leave artifacts so let's see how clean the vocal is after that what love is this? It is God's love, and no other love can be defined. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to undo that, though. So Control or Z twice, and I'm going to redo it again. But this time I'm going to do it with a lower threshold and more amount. So this should remove more. Hopefully it won't destroy the vocal too much. Uh, let's have a listen. So click Accept again. And we've got that line's even lower now. So let's have a listen to the main part of the vocal. What love is this? It is God's love and no other love can be defined. That's actually really good. Like I'm really not hearing any too many artifacts in that. It's sounding pretty decent. So I'm gonna go and try this one more time. This time I'm gonna turn it all the way up. So let's again, right click, tools, clean up denoise, set the threshold, pretty on well, minus six we put it to minus five so a tiny bit an amount yeah let's go all the way let's let's have it have it all right let's have a listen what love is this it is god's love and no other love can be defined 
until that love has properly been understood. Okay, so there's a little bit of kind of ringingness in in the kind of upper mids or maybe in the t in the tops. It's a little bit ringy, but remember we're going to be putting this back in to um, another behind essentially another another sample as you obviously would do. Um, so you can easily hide it using you know EQ reverb delay that kind of stuff. So I'm going to render this sticks back into my project and let's see how we get how it sounds. Okay, so here there we have our old vocal, so the original vocal. Uh, with the noise in the background and our new vocal with much less in the background. So I'm going to remove that. going to send this to uh, its own vocal post. That's post processing because obviously um, we have basically removed the noise from uh, using, using Edison. So I'm just going to quickly rename this so we all know what's what. Okay. And now we're going to basically put that vocal, we're going to see if we can get it to fit into the new version, uh, the new song, uh, which goes like this. What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love. I mean, that sounds pretty good straight off the bat. So let me just add a little bit of uh, EQ, delay and reverb. Have a listen to this, let me know what you think. What happens when life breaks down? Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. What love is this? It is God's love, and no other love can be defined until that love has properly been understood. Think of what it is when God himself puts his arms around you and says, welcome home. No, I think that sounded pretty good. Just a quick rundown of what I'd put in the uh, in the vocal channel. So peak controller, first of all. Now, the purpose of this is literally just to essentially sidechain the um, <clears throat> delay and reverb that I've got running here. So first up really is EQ. Um, low cut obviously you don't want those sub sub frequencies little bit little bit t t tinny toppy so I just kind of took out a little bit um, what was that about 7 dB from over 10k a little bit of boost of 4.3 I also did a cut here at 170 because it was just a bit boomy a bit boxy didn't, didn't really like that sound coming through especially as it kind of gets later into the track it kind of clashes a tad so that was the reason for that now this is a compressor it's not a limiter Everyone knows what a compressor does. It just kind of rounds off some peaks. Um, and obviously delay, touch of reverb, and um, I, yeah, I just figured around with this, but to be honest with you, I don't, didn't really think it needed any more EQ after that. So yeah, really easy, really simple, really straightforward. I would actually go as far to say, I think maybe it sounds better than Audacity, um, which is impressive considering all I've really done is just you know, the, the function of it is slightly different in terms that it's more about um, reducing noise in the background as opposed to isolating specific vocal frequencies. Basically, they work in polar opposite ways. And I would have thought that vocal a vocal isolation plugin would have been better to get a clean vocal than a noise reduction plugin. You know, maybe use a combination of both for the best effects. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching. And I will be back again with... I've got two more videos lined up in this series for the ultimate way to steal the best quality 
uh, uh, vocal. So uh, stick with me. I will help you in your journey of sample robbery. Until then, guys, see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>